660 people have been murdered in the city of St. Louis. Their deaths leaving their families and friends grieving, all while homicide detectives are overwhelmed with the growing caseloads. Those deaths often become stats than cases assigned a number. But one St. Louis family now determined to prevent that from happening to their loved one. This horse Caroline Hecker has their story. Police say 21 year old Chris Ray was shot and killed while driving along South Broadway, his truck leaving the roadway and landing right here on the sidewalk. It's been two years with virtually no leads and even more unanswered questions. It's a busy stretch of South Broadway, recently outfitted with police cameras. But for two years, what happened to Chris Ray remains somewhat of a mystery. What was going on that night? You know, like what happened that night? St. Louis police say they found Ray dead inside his truck from a gunshot wound in the early morning hours of Christmas Eve 2020. Mackenzie Phillips dated Ray for years and shares two children with him. She wants answers for them. So, you know, not having any idea of what happened besides that he was murdered. You know, that's hard. Like how when she grows up, you know, they're going to want those answers. Destiny Barnett is the mother of Ray's youngest daughter. She, too, is on a quest for justice and believes someone out there knows something. This is Broadway, so I don't think, you know, all these houses and especially when it happened. I mean, this is not like a quiet alley area. I mean, there's constant traffic. And so for 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 him to be shot and and you know, left here for as long as he was. I don't see how nobody didn't see anything. A doting father with dreams of opening a tattoo shop, Ray was one of 265 people killed in the city in 2020 and one of many unsolved cases. It takes one person to just come forward and this whole case could be solved. As the city approaches 200 homicides in 2022, both women say something must be done to prevent more children from growing up without a parent. People think that now the only way to solve any issues is to kill them and that's that needs to change there. You know, there's other ways to solve issues. Chris's family and friends say this poll serves as a sad reminder of the place he spent his final moments and after more than two years, they say their time for justice and closure has come and they are desperate for any information in South City. Caroline Hecker News 4. Of the 197 homicides in the city so far this year, 58% of those have resulted in at least one arrest. If you have any information on the murder of Chris Ray, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. And remember, you can remain anonymous.